today we're standing on Market Street with genuine street musicians. Uh, it's a very windy, cold day on Market Street. There's lots of people walking by. I'd like to ask you, John, I've been to a lot of different cities and everybody has heard about street musicians, but San Francisco is one of the few cities that people actually see them. When you were younger, when you were growing up, were there musicians on the street then? Oh, no. This Except is... the occasional guy with a guitar who uh, would be standing on the corner and uh, everybody used to think of him as, well, more like a bum, sort of, a musical bum than anything else. And I think that's one of the things that happened in the street music situation in San Francisco is that it stopped being like that. Not only did the music get to be much better, but uh, people began to stop thinking that that we were a bunch of bums. What kind of musicians are mostly on the street? Are there all types? Oh, there's all types of musicians and jugglers and mimes. <laughs> and uh, I think classical music works very well because people aren't used to seeing that type of thing and they tend to stop and listen and really get excited about it. Mm -hmm. It's a new thing. They're used to going to concerts and having to sit in a chair and be quiet and here they can laugh and have a good time and learn something new about classical music. I enjoy relating to the kind of audience that classical street music attracts. Uh, it's a it's a very nice, warm group of people. Yeah, well, street music is a whole lot of fun, and it is a very seasonal thing. It's a it's a lot more fun when you feel uh, that you're not freezing your buns off, and that you can enjoy the the warm sun and have people relax without shivering. Did you feel your response to classical music and your way of approaching it change as a result of being close to people when you're playing it and getting more responses for them? Yes, it did. One has to become a little bit, well, you could almost say looser and also showy in a way. Oh. Uh, it's good to be looser when you play anything, whether it be uh, Bach or uh, Beatles or... Well, that, that alone, I think, would make playing on the street probably a good experience for most musicians just to great give like I don't get nervous anymore yeah. playing in front of big audiences I can play in front of a million people because we've played hundreds of times on the street that's right it's great experience Do you think that there's a, is there competition among the street musicians? Yeah. That is, like are there better, good corners and bad corners? Or do you have to get there early in the morning or what? Well, depending on the season, in the summer, if you want to play in the daytime, uh, you might have to get there two or three hours beforehand and bring a little snack and a book and watch the spot and make sure nobody gets it. Camp out. And if you're a classical musician, you have to be careful that there's not a jazz band a block away that drown you out. It's mm -hmm. Well, I think everybody's curious. How much money does a street musician really make? Is it really <laughs> worth it? Well, it depends on the group. 
if it's a really good group, you can be sure of making uh, enough money to live on. And with my experience, I lived off it for four years while I've been doing my studies. If you play on the street for a couple of hours um, in a group, you're likely to have, say, between 500 and 1,000 people stop at one point or another mm -hmm. and spend mm -hmm. at least a minute or two listening to you. Mm -hmm. And, and at least 50 cents. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, we've concentrated now on the, your identity as a street musician, but I think uh, all the people who see street musicians always wonder, well, what are these people really when they go home? What are their real lives like? What do they really do? Uh, do they play music other places? Do they have other lives? Are some of them only part-time musicians? What about yourself? Uh, I study privately with a teacher, mm -hmm. and that entails practicing. Mm -hmm. and that takes up a few hours of my day, at mm -hmm. least and I try to get involved in small-time orchestras or chamber groups. Yeah, I also have school. I take some classes at the conservatory. I don't have time for a full-time job in order to pay for my rent and extras like food. So I do need to play in the street to make a living at it. As far as the kinds of things that I do, I've done just about everything. Uh -huh. I've played in orchestras little ones and big ones, string quartets, playing everything from Mozart to Schoenberg and Charles Ives, a lot of rock and roll shows, Boz Skaggs, Marvin Gaye, the Pointer Sisters. You've come uh, really, a long way, baby. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> no, it, it, really does, it really does loosen you up, and I feel that I do play a lot better in every kind of situation, having gotten this kind of looseness that started when I began playing on the street. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if all everybody got their instruments out and started playing their little hometowns? We could start a whole thing. Yeah. I think it would be terrific. Be far out. Mm -hmm. 